I chose Portland because it was fully environmental placement sites instead of just um, you know other sorts of service work. It's been something that it's a lot more rewarding than I ever could have imagined it to be, especially in terms of environmental education. I wanted to, you know, get more experience with uh, environmental policy, environmental efforts, um, going out into the field, meeting more people, um, looking at how the culture is like in Portland to um, sustain environmental um, efforts and environmental consciousness. I was drawn to this program because of the opportunity to work with an environmental law firm actually. I've always loved the ocean, it's always been my passion and I just need to find some way to help it, to save it and it seems like Clean Water Act, environmental law seems like a good path to go. And at the Oregon um, Nature Conservancy chapter we're working to try to mitigate or um, take care of and, and, and uh, conserve lands that are, um, that need uh, conservation or preservation. Yeah, be careful about where you put this. You might want to put it in a different place because it's morning glory and it'll like re-sprout. The volunteers here are doing some summer maintenance in our garden, which was used by all 420 K through 5 students. And uh, the garden is used as sort of a learning laboratory where we integrate all curriculum and all subjects across all the grades and also to grow food for the school um, lunch. So we're also Portland Public Schools pilot program for more nutritious, locally sourced uh, quality meals made from scratch on site, which is sort of a revolutionary thing here. I'm putting some uh, like dead leaves and grass so we cut down into um, first stage of what looks like a three-stage compost pile. Once it breaks down more, you can use it as more of a nutrient-rich uh, fertilizer for the rest of the garden. This guy is a, a native snowberry, and the morning glory, if it's let to run free, and I've seen this not only at the school, but like in the field where I work, but it'll completely overtake the native plants and just choke them out. grateful to the Duke and Gage crew for coming out today in this lovely coastal weather that we have to help us maintain the trail that we have leading out to our Cascade Head Preserve. We like to make sure that folks can come out and appreciate the work the Nature Conservancy is doing to preserve these unique areas, these special places for uh, protecting the diversity of life on Earth by preserving the lands and waters they need to survive. And the Duke and Gage program's been great for our organization. Um, the work that folks are doing today are really going to help the public be able to enjoy this site much better. So we're really appreciative.